Hey there, my name is Jessica. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, welcome. I hope that you enjoy. Please subscribe if you have not already. I do videos all about productivity and motivation, and I love to sprinkle in fashion and health and fitness in there as well. Today's video is all about my first few weeks as a vegetarian. So I've actually been vegetarian for um, my fourth week now, um, so not very long, but I did find it very challenging when I decided to start this journey. We're used to doing a protein as meat, so it was definitely hard to find something to replace that with so I did a lot of research and I decided to film just a week of vegetarian meals to maybe give you some ideas so I hope that this helps if you enjoy like I said please comment and subscribe I'm gonna link every recipe in the description box below so you'll be able to find it directly through Pinterest if I got it from there and if not I'll have it written out in the description tonight is sushi night so we have sushi rice and then one of the rolls is a miso sweet potato and avocado roll and the other one is like a spicy mayo tofu and avocado. Yep. So we're going to make some sushi. Vegetarian sushi. And we have miso soup as well. Sushi turned out so delicious. Mac and I's favorite roll was the spicy tofu roll. We had some hot sake to go with it. The next morning I had an espresso shot and then I ended up taking the leftover sushi with me to the office for lunch. breakfast the next morning, I make my typical protein smoothie with a little bit of fruit. Today's flavor was strawberry and I'll have the recipe down below in the description. I also take this Modair collagen shot every single morning. And then my favorite coffee creamer is Nut Pods because there's no sugar added and it has a really great flavor. The trick for this though, I will say, because it's very organic and there's a lack of stabilizers, you have to kind of temper the creamer and mix in the hot coffee slowly so that you don't curdle the creamer. And then my breakfast happened to be a piece of leftover cake. It is Tuesday night. The oven's ready. <laughs> I'm at home making dinner, and so tonight is one of my favorite vegetarian meals that we've been having. So like I said, we've only been vegetarian for like two weeks, so this is our third week, but this has been like a repeat meal already. It's so good. It is spaghetti and plant-based meatballs, and I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna share my favorite brand and why, um, but I did want to let you know, last night I was supposed to film my dinner, but actually we lost power, and I was gonna make this yesterday, and and my house and my mom's house, she lives right down the street. They were both out of power until like 8 p.m. And so we ended up ordering pizza, but I got a vegetarian pizza. I just had thin crust, because I always love thin crust. And then I had mushrooms, tomatoes, and spinach and cheese. And that's it. Um, so that was my dinner last night and my lunch today. And I just didn't film it um, because... I don't know why, but that's what I had, so you'll have to believe me. So let's get into what I'm making for dinner tonight. Okay, so these are the meatballs that I was talking about. So this is the brand that I like, Beyond Meat. The reason why I like them is because there's no soy. Um, so I have done a lot of research on soy, especially as a female, um, with doing like the research on some of the hormone claims that have been against soy. What I've come across is that soy is fine for you as long as it's like in a whole bean form but when it comes to like soy protein isolates that are in a lot of protein bars and um, like vegetarian meat that's kind of where the issue lies so i don't really believe in eating a lot of high processed foods anyways so i'm just going to and let's see i'm wondering if you can see the ingredients better on this pack if you wanted to pause the video just to read what that says um but it's really not a lot of fake stuff, so that's really good. And as you can see, there's uh, 12 meatballs per container, so if we have six each meal, we're having a little bit more than this. So that's the macros on it. It has 19 grams of protein. 
The one thing that I have noticed with eating vegetarian is that it is hard to get in protein. So I love this spaghetti. This is a chickpea spaghetti. I also love their red lentil spaghetti. But here are the macros for this. So in one serving, you have 11 grams of protein. There's about four and a half servings in here. Um, and it's also, if you're washing carbs, it's a little bit better on carbs. It's not much better than pasta, but I don't really care about the carbs, to be honest. So this is the kind of pasta that we're having tonight. Usually, I love to have the Reyes sauce, but we got this from Costco and I wanted to try it. So this is a different kind of marinara called Victoria Organic. I have no idea about it, but it's a bigger jar and since we're making like four servings tonight so we can have leftovers, I'm going to try this. Guys, there is literally nothing better to me than a rainstorm. I don't even know if you can see it. Probably not, but it's pouring outside. Oh yeah, I love it. I love topping my pasta with this nutritional yeast. It's kind of like a cheese substitute for vegans, but I think it tastes so good. The next night, I made a sweet potato and chickpea soup. This was pretty good. It wasn't our favorite. The sweet potato flavor with the saltiness of the chickpeas and the tomatoes, it wasn't my absolute favorite, but it was very good. It was super comforting, and we did finish off the whole pot, so it obviously wasn't bad. A lot of mornings my husband and I will take the dog out for a morning coffee walk. It's such a great way to start the day. So I had my coffee and we walked the dog around the neighborhood. And this was Saturday morning. I was watching my favorite YouTuber Sam Oscarow and I had one of her suggestions while I was planning my week. It's lemon and cayenne in some water. And then this amazing breakfast sandwich is actually eggs kind of scrambled into almost like an omelet so it's easy to eat. Some spinach and this cheese is actually called cheesy slices and then everything is on Ezekiel toast. I don't recommend the cheesy slices just because they are full of chemicals but as you can see here I definitely ate plenty of it. It was really good and then I also added some avocado. Two hair, skin, and nails. A love and wellness. It's the good, the mood pill is what it is. This is the good girl probiotic from Love Wellness 2. This is a folic acid. So that's what I take every day. I also take my fiber every day. Usually I wait till the evening, but since we have plans today, I don't want to forget. So I take like about a half, three-fourths of a scoop of Bellway. I love it because there's no weird sweeteners in it. And mix it with some water. Saturday night, I'm making cauliflower tofu fried rice. So these are the frozen vegetables. We got like a bag of frozen stir-fried veggies from Costco. And this is tofu that is roasting in the oven. And we're doing cauliflower rice instead of rice. And then I have my garlic prepped. So we're going to make cauliflower fried rice. This recipe turned out so well. We thought it was delicious because we love Asian and Chinese variety foods. So it was definitely a keeper. So that was everything. I hope that you enjoyed. Those are some of my favorite meals so far being vegetarian. I love trying the alternative protein options and finding new things to make. It's a challenge for me and I really do enjoy it. I hope that you enjoyed it as well and I hope that you found some inspiration for your next vegetarian or plant-based meal. I'll see you in the next one.